Hello everybody, it's so good to see you yet again. My name is Elliot, my wife Tiffany and I have the great privilege of pastoring this group of people called Lifeline Church. I'm so glad that you're tuning in today. I'm gonna to switch things up a little bit from what you're used to, if you are used to this. I'm normally doing the midweek mentor right now, but today I wanted to do a midweek motivation because that's what I felt like you needed today and I wanted to give you some I wanted to give you some vision I wanted to give you some of the heart of what Lifeline Church wants to do and be in this community right now with everything we're facing with everything we're seeing with everything that's going on not just in the life of the church but in your own life there are so many things that are just weighing us down I just felt like you needed some motivation and I also wanted to talk to you about what it means to be a church, what it means to follow Jesus, what it means for us in our day to day to follow him and to be a lifeline for the people around us. Because listen to this, I heard an alarming statistic yesterday. I heard a statistic that said that in the last six weeks, we've seen more suicides than we have in the previous year. So in the past six weeks, there's been more people taking their own lives than all the people in, the, in 2019 put together. And I, I, I just came, came to my senses. I came to my senses because I'm just like anybody else, just looking around and all of the, all the distraction, all of the things going on that seem important and they are important, but we're, we're just losing sight, I think, of what's most important. And that's the gift of life that God has given us. And so what I want to tell you is this, is that the church, the people of God, we are essential right now. I am just releasing you, followers of Jesus, if you are a follower of Jesus or you're considering to be a follower of Jesus just by tuning in online and wanting to hear a little bit more from a church, I'm empowering you right now. You are an essential worker. I am empowering you to be a lifeline because what's happening right now in our society, in our culture, in our, in our great country is that people are de more depressed than ever. And, and the statistics ring true that people are ending their own life. We're seeing more divorce than ever. We're seeing more addiction than ever. Depression is through the roof. Counseling that people need is astronomical. Everything's booked. It's like, where's the church? We are so needed right now. And while I, I understand the church wants to be as, as, as best we can to be doing our part and, and keeping the, the physical distancing, I'm, I'm telling you, man and woman of God and anybody else listening that wants to be a lifeline. I'm telling you that you, you are it. You are the church. You are the hope of the world. To reach out to someone, to tell them, hey, it's gonna be okay today. You've got this. I'm here to help you. What can I do to help you? Just encourage someone, just kind of like I'm doing with you right now, but you can do it on a personal level with someone else. This is so critical. This is so important. And I believe that, that you have something that maybe you don't even know you have. You have hope inside of you. You have encouragement in you. Maybe you are standing on your own two feet right now and you are not being shaken and blown around by the waves and the wind that we're seeing. I got some wind and waves like outside of my, my little studio right now so I can hear it. And, and, but you're not being blown around by that, by all the stuff going on. Let me just tell you, you can be an encouragement to someone else. You can be empowering to someone else. You can set someone free from some bondage that they are going through. You can do this. You can do this. Just last week in my own life, I mean, just minding my own business, doing my thing, being a pastor, whatever pastors do in between Sundays, right? <laughs> I got a call from a friend and I'll keep this anonymous, but I got a call from a friend and their loved one 
is going through major addiction issues right now. And with that comes major uh, mental and psychological issues. And I've been in this game a long time, for those of you who don't know my story. I, I come from drug addiction and alcohol abuse, and I, I got free from all that. I got free and set free from bondage and all that. But I'm telling you, it's not getting any better out there. I just saw it firsthand that we are so needed. For us to retreat back, you know, this is gonna rub some people the wrong way. For us to retreat back, I say, oh, well, you know, we just need to hang in there and just, and just ride this thing out before we, before we uh, open ourselves up or before we get involved with other people's life, you know, before we um, close that social distance gap, you know, for our own sake. Well, you know what? People are, people are not just dying of COVID. They're dying of other things too. We need to get out there. We need to make ourselves available. This is so near and dear to my heart because people need us. People were there for me when I needed them. And they put themselves on the line to take me in, to encourage me, to build me up, to spend time with me, exactly what I needed. What I'm telling you is don't shy back from that responsibility, man of God, woman of God, or anybody who's interested in following Jesus. I understand that our, our audience here is, is not only Christ followers, and I'm, I'm so glad about that. Maybe you're considering a life of faith. I'm telling you, this is for you too. Do not shrink back from the responsibility that we have to be a lifeline. And you know what? I'll tell you this. If, if they come after me, if, if I get in trouble for being near people, you know, and you know, lock me up. I'm gonna help people in there. You know what, take my job away. I'll get a job at Costco, somebody, come on. I'm gonna see people get saved over there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, I can go to sleep well knowing I'm making a difference in the life of someone else. And that's more important than where my income comes from. That's more important than my social status in the community. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm out there trying to save lives because that's, that's what being a lifeline is all about. And that's what Jesus has released us to do, is to seek and save those who are lost. I've talked enough. Now it's time for you to go out and do just that. Be a motivation, be an encouragement, help somebody. Let me pray for you and empower you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, for anybody who's, who's feeling that encouragement, who any, anyone who's feeling tugged right now to be a lifeline, Lord, I pray that you would show them the person that they need to reach out to. Show them the person that they need to be available for. Show them the manner in which they need to make themselves available on a daily and weekly basis so that we can be a lifeline to our community, so that we can be a lifeline to our family, so we can be a lifeline to our friends and neighbors. Lord, I just empower in the name of Jesus, everybody listening, to this prayer now. And I pray these things in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next time for another midweek motivation.